Morning Keen High and welcome back to a new episode of your Keen High Morning Show. Alongside Danny Petit and a Troy Raybould warming the bench due to a real injury, not a broken toe. <clears throat> Jeremy, I'm Rihanna Logan. Today is Monday, October 7th and it is a day two. We don't have a lot of news for you this week, so we're just going to have some fun and see where this goes. We'll start off the show by informing you that we will have a special announcement from Kendall Rowe at the end of the show, so stay tuned and you won't want to miss it. If a bus leaves Keene traveling south at 60 miles per hour and a plane leaves LAX heading east at 400 miles per hour, when will the Cheshire Room be open next week? Wednesday, close block one, open block three. We do not offer lunch during the first lunch time period. All orders need to be into the kitchen by 1215. We do not take orders after that time. Thursday, open blocks one and three. Friday, closed all day. Deal with it, Wanda. We are accepting reservations for classes to come block four. Please call extension 3800 to make a reservation. The guidance department would like everyone to know about the following college visits this week. Today, Rochester Institute of Technology and Castleton University will be visiting. On Tuesday, University of Maine will be here. There will be visits from Hartford University and Connecticut College on Wednesday. On Thursday, Suffolk University will visit and on Friday, Mount Holyoke College and Thomas College will be here. Please go to the Maine Guidance Office to sign up or get some more information. October is Teen Tober at the library. Come on down and ask about the services being offered at the library just for you. That's right, just you and no one else. Browse the collections of movies and games, borrow one of the teens top 10 and the New Hampshire Flume nominees, or check out the new titles in your favorite series. Get ready for our first book discussion. We will be discussing the book, Blood, Water, Paint. Also, there will be a treasure hunt in the library in the third week of October. Arg, matey. Come on down with your team, follow the clues, and find the treasure. It's also Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It's why the NFL players wear those pink bands on Sundays. The library has a display of books on breast cancer. Check them out. Finally, the Teens Top 10 voting ends on October 15th. That's next week. And the winner will be announced October 16th. Students can visit dogobooks.com to cast your vote. Get ready to celebrate Teen Tober. The library is waiting for you. The library would also like to remind everyone to return or renew your overdue library books because it has been already one month of school and some of us already have them. The yearbook staff would like to remind everyone that the yearbook prices are on sale for $60. Prices are going to go up like a building in a Michael Bay movie, so make sure that you buy one soon. See Miss Merrill in room 503 to purchase your book. Mr. Olson is growing out his beard all year for Balda's Beautiful donations. That's right, he's raising money, not just making a fashion statement. Stop by room 406 and give him your money for this cause. Attention seniors, the senior photo will be taken on the bleachers on Tuesday, October 8th during eye time. The second annual Keene International Festival was a huge success. It took place on Saturday, September 21st at the Keene Rec Center and was a free event designed to celebrate the cultural diversity of the Keene area. There were performances, craft activities, and games, as well as food and craft vendors from all around the world. Students from the Chinese Club, French Club, Spanish Club, and English Language Learners Program all added their flair to the event, offering origami, a Haitian card game, Indian friendship bracelet making, face painting, French games, and Central American crafts. Save the date for the next Keene International Festival, Saturday, September 26, 2020. And now, time to have a nice conversation with Troy Rabel about sports. I'm Troy Rabel, and this is your Keene High Sports. Congratulations, Jake Vasquez. Not only did he win and set a new course record at the Wachusett Invitational on Saturday, but he also set a Keene High School record with 5K with a time of 15.39. Due to the lack of news for Keene High Sports, we only have NFL scores. Please make sure your coaches send media reports to Mr. Atkins. NFL scores, Seahawks 39, Rams 29. The Seahawks look like a legion of touchdowns after a 4-1 start while fending off the NFC champions in the win by one point. Eagles 31, Jets 6. 
Eagles completely destroy the Jets as the Jets fall to 0 and 5 and has basically already fell at the playoff race five weeks in. Panthers, 34, Jaguars, 27. Gardner Minshew looks like he's taking home Rookie of the Year honors as he's propelling the Jaguars for a deep playoff run while Nick Foles is out. Texans, 53, Falcons, 32. Deshaun Watson just went off and threw for five touchdowns as they completely destroyed the Falcons. Vikings, 28, Giants, 10. Vikings hand out Denny Dines' first loss of the season as starter and show that he's still really human. Saints, 31, Buccaneers, 24. Saints show that last week for the Buccaneers was just luck as they climbed the defensive backs with Teddy Bridgewater throw for four touchdowns and get the easy win. Bills, 14, Titans, 7. Bills barely get past the Titans as they move to 4-1 and one and stay neck to neck with the Patriots for the division. Cardinals, 26, Bengals, 23. Cardinals get their first win of the season in a nail biter with the Bengals, and the Bengals are just having, again, one of those disappointing seasons as they dropped 0-5. Patriots, 33, Redskins, 7. The Patriots were actually losing early in the game for the first time this season, but they turned it back on in the second half as they get the win and moved 5-0. Ravens, 26, Steelers, 23. The Ravens got insanely lucky in this game as Lamar Jackson threw three interceptions but came out with an overtime win as the Steelers choke and fall farther out of the playoff race. Raiders 24, Bears 21. The Raiders are the most surprising team this season as they have a winning record for the first time in two years and are in playoff contention. Broncos 20, Chargers 13. Broncos get their first win of the season as they down the Chargers and show signs of life. Packers 34, Cowboys 24. Aaron Jones rushes for four touchdowns on the, on the night and they gave the extra boost they needed to get another win and keep them in the division race. And it didn't help that Dak Prescott threw three picks. Colts, 19, Chiefs, 13. The Chiefs' defense couldn't hold the lead. They are now two undefeated teams in the league, Patriots and 49ers. These are your NFL scores for Week 5. Okay, now it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for. Kendall Rowe is here yeah. to... Oh, wait. What's that? We're out of time? How can that be? Sorry, guys. We'll try to do better next time. I'm Rihanna Logan. And I'm Danny Petit. Have a great week, Kenai.